everyone, my name is Daisy Allen, I'm a Collections Curator at the National Scouting Museum, Philmont Scout Ranch. And today, we have for you, artifacts showcasing scouting in books. While the BSA has put out millions of pieces of literature over the last century, from handbooks to merit badge pamphlets, the pieces we're showing you today are books on the Boy Scouts of America from outside sources. These range from fictional series to non-fictional accounts all of which have helped to spread the ideas of the BSA and draw in youth participants. For example, Paul Siepel, an Eagle Scout that put part in six Antarctic expeditions with Admiral Byrd. His first book, A Boy Scout with Byrd, was written in 1931, and later in 1936 he wrote on how scouting prepared him for those expeditions in Scouting to Explore, Back with Byrd in the Antarctic. Fictional series have also been very popular. The Hickory Ridge Boy Scout series includes 10 books by author Captain Alan Douglas, which was also republished as the Victory Boy Scout series. According to my research, at the end of each book, Douglas added information about an aspect of natural history or woodcraft that he touched on in the book. Other series took Boy Scouts abroad, such as Boy Scouts at the Panama Canal and Boy Scouts Under Fire in Mexico, by journalist John Goldfrapp, published under his pseudonym of Lieutenant Howard Payson. Goldfrapp published 14 books about the Boy Scouts within a seven year span. Of course, Goldfrapp wasn't the only journalist to write fictional stories about the Boy Scouts. Under the pseudonym Gordon Stewart, journalist Harry Lincoln Sailor created Boy Scouts in the Air about 1912 1913, well before the Air Scouts even began. For a more down to earth book, Boy Scouts on Motorcycles is listed as a classic for teenagers and for those interested in early motorcycles. This is one of a series of books written under the pen name of George Harveston Ralphson, a collective pen name for multiple ghost riders between about 1911 to 1920. As you can see, the Boy Scouts of America ignited an interest in the popular imagination of the United States. It was not just a means of providing good citizenship and hands-on skill to youth, but was looked at as a means of adventure. Though many of these books were published in the early years of scouting, they are continuously reprinted and circulated even today. And in more recent books, the Boy Scouts have been seen in series such as The Berenstein Bears and referenced to in the past of characters from books such as Iceberg by Clive Kussler. Now, that's all we have time for today. Please join us again as we explore more artifacts and history from the National Scouting Museum, Philmont Scout Ranch.